Let's embark on an exciting exploration of the Organ Pipes National Park, situated in the magnificent landscape of Victoria, Australia. Parks Victoria manages the park, prioritizing the protection of the basalt columns, visitor safety, and educational information. They actively manage fire risks and collaborate with the traditional owners of the land. As a general guideline, a visit to the Organ Pipes National Park can range from a short visit of around 30 minutes to a longer half-day excursion or more. The park offers a variety of walking trails with different lengths and difficulty levels, allowing visitors to choose a route that suits their preferences and time constraints. Enjoy outdoor picnics in designated areas amidst the park's beauty but please respect the environment and follow leave no trace principles for preservation purposes. Parks Victoria acknowledges the Warren Jerry people's profound connection to the land and collaborates with them in managing this park, aiming to protect its cultural and natural values while promoting reconciliation and cultural diversity. Through interpretive signage and cultural events, they educate visitors about Aboriginal culture and heritage, honoring the Wurundjeri people's custodianship. Did you know that dogs are prohibited from entering the park? This regulation is crucial to protect the park's natural environment, preserve wildlife habitats, and ensure the safety and enjoyment of all visitors. By excluding dogs, we can maintain the delicate balance of the park's ecosystem. Do you know why dogs can be disruptive to native wildlife and habitats? It's because they may chase or disturb animals, damage their homes, or introduce non-native species. By respecting this rule, we help Parks Victoria safeguard the native flora and fauna, ensuring the ecological integrity of the park remains intact. You know, if you really listen carefully, you can catch the gentle chirping of crickets in the air. Their songs seem to blend perfectly with the tranquil Australian evenings, creating a symphony of nature that's truly mesmerizing. The weather in the park can vary depending on the season. Luckily, we are able to visit during autumn, which is from March to May, so the temperatures are generally mild and pleasant, ranging from around 59 to 77 degrees Fahrenheit. Behold this enchanting view of Jackson's Creek, the prominent waterway flowing through the park. As you gaze upon its seamless integration within the ecosystem, you can appreciate its role in sustaining the diverse plant and animal life. The park is home to a diverse range of plant life, including majestic eucalyptus trees, vibrant wildflowers, and delicate ferns. These resilient species have adapted to the park's unique environment, creating a beautiful and harmonious natural landscape. Keep an eye out for unique plant species that are endemic to the region, such as the rare and protected sun orchids or the delicate fringed lily. Their presence highlights the park's commitment to preserving and conserving these precious botanical treasures. When you step into the Oregon Pipes National Park, get ready for a wild encounter with some incredible creatures. This place is a haven for wildlife, and you'll have the chance to meet some of the most fascinating residents. Listen to the melodious symphony of birdsong as you wander through the park. Iconic birds like kookaburras, rainbow lorikeets, and cockatoos will captivate you with their vibrant plumage. Keep your eyes peeled for water birds too, gracefully gliding along the creek. Truly a sight to behold. Take a moment to appreciate the sun-loving reptiles basking on rocks and logs. You might spot eastern water dragons or skinks, showing off their unique scales and patterns. And if you're lucky, you might even catch a glimpse of the elusive sleepy lizard taking a leisurely sunbath. Look out for the bouncy kangaroos and wallabies hopping through the grassy areas, nibbling on vegetation. These agile marsupials are a joy to watch. And keep your eyes on the ground for the iconic echinas, those spiky little creatures on a mission to find ants and termites for a tasty snack. Remember, 
When you encounter these incredible creatures, give them the space and respect they deserve. Observe them from a distance, allowing them to carry on with their natural behaviors. By appreciating and protecting the wildlife of the Oregon Pipes National Park, we can ensure that future generations can also experience the wonders of these unique creatures. Let's talk more about the Wurundjeri people. They are the traditional owners of the land encompassing the Oregon Pipes National Park. Their rich ancestral heritage is deeply rooted in these territories. They have inhabited and cared for this land for thousands of years, passing down their knowledge, traditions, and cultural practices through generations. The ancestors of the Wurundjeri people hold a significant historical presence, representing their enduring connection to the land. They established a unique cultural landscape shaping their identity and spirituality through sustainable use of resources and cultural exchange. Today, the Wurundjeri people honor their ancestors by preserving their heritage and advocating for the protection of their traditional lands, ensuring the cultural and environmental values of the Oregon Pipes National Park are safeguarded for future generations. We're almost at our first destination. Before we arrive, let me tell you a bit about the rock formations we will be visiting today. Our first attraction will be the Organ Pipes Formation that is characteristically named for its basalt columns that resembles the pipes of a grand organ. We will also be visiting the Rosette Rock, which is a large formation of basalt with spiral-like columns resembling the spokes of a giant wheel. Finally, we will conclude our trip today by visiting the tessellated pavement, which is a flat, layered rock surface that resembles a tiled pavement. Look up ahead. This is our first destination, the infamous Organ Pipes. This rock formation was formed millions of years ago through volcanic activity. As lava flowed across the landscape, it cooled and solidified, creating hexagonal columns of basalt. The columns are incredibly well preserved, showcasing the intricate patterns and symmetry of nature. Some columns reach up to 20 meters in height, The home of this national park are the Keeler Plains, which contain significant geomorphological and geological features. They are also part of the Western Volcanic Plains located in Western Victoria, Australia. The park preserves sedimentary rocks and fossils dating back 400 million years, providing insights into its ancient marine history. Fossils, such as graptolites, representing sea snails, sea worms, and extinct floating animals, can be observed in the rock. While the volcanoes that shape the Keeler Plains are now dormant, their impact is evident in the preserved rock formations found throughout the park. Here we have the majestic Jackson's Creek wrapping around the Organ Pipes Formation. This creek is teeming with a diverse array of fish species, making it an enticing destination for anglers and a thriving ecosystem for aquatic life. Among the fish that inhabit the creek, Trout, including brown trout and rainbow trout, are highly prized and they are sought after by fishing enthusiasts. The vibrant redfin is another common fish species found in Jackson's Creek. These predatory fish are known for their distinctive reddish-orange fins. The creek is also home to eels, including the versatile... 
short-finned eel, which demonstrates its impressive capacity to move between freshwater and saltwater habitats. Before partaking in fishing, make sure to check and adhere to any fishing regulations and guidelines set by the park authorities to ensure a sustainable fishing experience and the conservation of the ecosystem. Here's a closer look at the organ pipes formation. Much like this formation, the rosette rocks share similarities in their geological origins. The rosette rock showcases a similar basalt columnar structure created by volcanic activity. We are on our way to the second destination on our trip, the rosette rock. Unfortunately, the closest viewpoint is closed off to visitors currently. However, you can still observe the basalt columns resembling a rosette pattern. These columns are formed through a geological process called columnar jointing. When volcanic lava cools and solidifies, it contracts and cracks, resulting in the formation of hexagonal or polygonal columns. The rosette pattern emerges when these columns grow and intersect at a central point form in a radial arrangement that resembles the petals of a flower. This radial symmetry is what gives rosette rock its distinct and captivating appearance. As you walk along the path to the tessellated pavement, our final destination today, you'll notice a variety of grasses adorning the landscape. These grasses are well adapted to the park's environment, which is characterized by a mix of rocky outcrops and open spaces. They have evolved to thrive in this unique habitat, enduring the harsh conditions and adding a splash of greenery to the landscape. We have arrived. This is the tessellated pavement. It is a fascinating geological feature that never fails to captivate visitors. This natural wonder is a result of intricate processes of erosion and weathering over thousands of years, creating a unique pattern of basalt columns that resemble a beautifully tiled pavement. The formation of the tessellated pavement can be attributed to the relentless power of the Jackson Creek and its erosive forces. Over time, the flowing water gradually wore away the basalt rocks, shaping them into distinct columns. These basalt columns, with their polygonal shapes, fit together like a giant puzzle, forming the mesmerizing tessellated pattern that we see today. As we come to the end of our journey, let's take one last glance at the serene Jackson's Creek. Doesn't it look absolutely invigorating? The gentle flow of the water creates a soothing melody, harmonizing with the melodies of birds and the rustling of trees in the breeze. It's a truly tranquil experience. As you make your way back, whether it's to the parking lot or the park's exit, keep an attentive eye for more fascinating creatures along the path. We were fortunate to come across ladybugs, walking sticks, and bustling antlions, all engaged in their own little adventure. Yeah, it really was camouflage, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I've been wishing. Let's go down. He can do it, he needs help. We hope you had an amazing time on today's journey. Please remember to show your support by liking our content, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a comment. We're excited to hear your suggestions for future explorations. Keep those ideas coming as we embark on more incredible adventures together.